previous video, our vampire Jonathan meets Lady Ashbury at her mansion. Then is requested to meet Lord Redgrave at the Ascalon Club. This is where Jonathan night begins. Welcome back, everybody. We are here at the Ascalon Club. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Hunters got the there has been kicked. quite a battle here. I'm Just sure the around. Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. Sure, right they do. What is this? Good dagger. It's locked. Oops. I guess that wasn't the right way. I guess I. I don't know. I was looking around. I'm just like, wow. Loot everything they have, all right? Loot and go, loot and go. Don't we think about it. Don't we think. We just do it. You think about it after. Oh, what's this? All right, all right. Jonathan needs some money, you know. Good evening. Good evening. My good friends, if I may have your attention, behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed, newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Here, here, here. Here, here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. I see Please the accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? She has proven useful. She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this skull plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why do you suddenly need me? The Ascalon Club only recruits the best, and you definitely fit the bill. Your scientific and medical reputation alone would qualify you as a candidate. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End. Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. 
I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club, and to serve me as such. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the Assembly formally, and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed, in front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! Okay, welcome to the club. Talk to more Red Reeve. That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general. I was, though very long ago, well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. Oh man, it's a tough decision, you know? They showed me all their secret, you know, sewer back system. Skulls are victims, Skulls are mellow bits. Some Skulls are peaceful. Skulls are hostile vectors of contagion, that is a fact. But first and foremost, they are victims. I agree, Dr. Reed. Most of the new Skulls who roam the streets at night used to be good British citizens. But they must be put down nevertheless. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. 
You are now a member of the Ascalon Club, and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Oh, something. No. Family portraits. Mission update. So, question citizens and the love affection. Alright, let's get to it. Do a little some uh, dirty work, dirty deeds. As long as not possible. So Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Doctor Reed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I I'm think Lord Redgrave just system. suggested I was sired by an ancient we need right vampire. To vote is only the first step. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Let me go talk to this guy. Oh, what happened? Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand? Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. Okay. Which way do we head first, guys? Look like we're heading to this way. Oops. It looks like it says they're up there. Or do I have to go around? I don't think it's downstairs. Women of all countries unite. Well, I'm guessing it's going to be through these gates. to the other side because those guys seem pretty freaking tough. I don't even want to take a chance on that side. I'm going to have to learn how to use the map more. I 
never really pay attention to the map, which I should start doing. So I'm gonna make a left here. Right. We're left, and we're gonna come down here the hard way. Enough of that, all right? I wanted to do this peacefully. No, you guys didn't let me do it peacefully. <laughs> no, it must be close, right? It's gotta be very nearby here. I can't believe I'm doing this. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. Ooh. This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. I'm just here to do my job so I don't get fined. Do even vampires get fine? I don't I don't know. I'm asking the most stupid, dumbest questions. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out someday the guys together. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. Alright, so Hello? Still alive. <laughs> what the heck? You thought I was dead too, didn't you? No, I was dead pretending. Doris told me I could have been a great actress. You killed your family. They mocked my talent. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Blood doesn't affect it. Keep on distance.
stay in the game. Radical mutation. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? Oh, beats me, man. All right, guys, we're gonna end there. I took forever in this gameplay to find a place. I got lost a lot. For some reason, I just get lost so many times in this game. And during the times where I'm not talking, I'm trying to focus. We're trying to find where these places are, which I had to learn how to use the map a little bit more. And some of these enemies are a little bit way tougher than me, so I'm trying to be careful about that. And secondly, you know, I'm trying to put out the best gameplay for you guys, so I hope you guys all enjoy it. And see you guys in the next one. We'll find out, go clear out the second one, and figure out what's next. Everyone, see you guys soon. So John that clears out the first infected area, and he then heads to the second infected area. What would John the Connor next? Who would he meet? To be continued.